Hi, in this window and door tool overview for beginners, I will show you how you can create parametric windows and doors, which means that you can edit them at any time without ever having to redraw them. Drawing and editing windows and doors are identical, so whatever I show you for a window, you can do for a door, and vice versa. Before you can insert a door or a window, you need to left click the wall that you want to place it into. Let's start with a window. In the window dialog, you can adjust the nominated header height, select the overall height of a window, choose the frame type, as well as the type of window that you wish to draw with. You can also configure the header and select materials. And once you're happy, press submit. To accurately place your windows or doors, you've got these reference marks. At the moment, it's referencing the internal frame. If you press the right arrow key on your keyboard, you can toggle through the options. place your window, left click in the wall, and then you can either type an exact measurement followed by the enter key, or just left click to place. As you can see, the window cuts through all of the layers of the wall, including the frame. It also nominates a suggested lintel size and type. I'll now draw one slightly larger to the side. See how the lintel changes. It's also worth noting that rather than choosing from a prospect window or door, you can draw a void instead. Simply choose none or square set opening from the list. From here, you can draw or insert your custom door or window into the void. Use the interact tool to open and close windows and doors to change the swing as well as the handing. To copy a door or window, select the relevant icon, followed by the redefine tool. Then left click the one that you wish to copy. Now hold down control and don't let go. Left click on the red dot. Still hold down your control and left click again somewhere. Make sure that you haven't uh, stopped pressing down control and then left click to place your new door. To move a door or window, select the relevant icon, in this case the door, and then select the door redefine tool again. And then left click the door that you wish to move. Now press home on your keyboard and then select a point that you want to move it from. Now you can either type in an exact measurement followed by the enter key or you can just left click to drop. You can also resize doors and windows in the same way. For a window, click on the window icon followed by the redefine tool. And then left click on the window that you wish to redefine. Now this time don't click the home key. Instead, you're going to left click on the point that you want to extend it from and then left click on that exact same spot. Now you can either type in an exact measurement followed by the enter key, or you can just left click to place. To delete doors and windows, click on the relevant icon and then select the remove tool. And then left click on the door or window that you wish to remove. Whenever you move, resize or remove a door or window, all of your structure will be automatically updated. Don't forget that you are never constrained by your previous choices. If you need to change anything, just change it. And you can even edit multiple doors and windows at once. To edit a door or window, select the relevant icon, followed by the options tool. Left click to choose the door or window that you want to edit. In this case, I'll be editing the doors. If you hold down the control on your keyboard and left click on another door, you can select multiple doors to edit at once. As you can see, I've decided to edit both of these doors simultaneously. If you can only see one dialog, drag the top one over. Both of these dialogs give you different options to edit these doors. And now you are free to change anything that you like.